This barn was probably destined to be bulldozed down because they didn't see what the value would be. But when you look at the wood from a different perspective, it's just beautiful product. And instead of cutting new trees down, we're taking this stuff and making furniture, flooring. We are harvesting it and we're bringing it back and repurposing it. I look at how they actually built the barn and unless they've quit maintaining it, we still got the sound, solid structure of a barn that was built 120 years ago. When they put this thing together, they cut the hole here. They notched this hole out. And by notching that hole out, they allowed this beam to come across and be a support. And then they pounded this peg in. And as they pounded that peg in, the stability of the barn's in place. We want to research it. We want to hear what they did at the barn, how they operated. And that way, when someone comes in, they want to buy a table. And we can tell them where it came from. We can show them examples of what was there. You can bring that barn back and make more things with it. It hasn't died. It just took a small hiatus. Now you're going to bring it back into something new. It's an ethic. Conservation is an ethic. So you could go to the lumber company and you can buy green lumber. You'll never know where it came from. You're pulling it up, you're looking at it. Then your customers come in and you can tell them about it. Then they become part of the process. So they have a history with it. We've got a bright future ahead of us. I don't want to see that end. Once you open the dialogue and you start talking, there is an answer. And the only way you can get to the answer is trying. You can't block it off and say we're not going to go any further. And as long as people are talking, you'll get there. There is a balance between industry and environmentalists, and we all hit on certain levels because the wheels have to keep going, and we can do so much with what we got as long as we're talking. <laughs>